She has three chicken carcasses and she ate three of them. Let's take a look at her. No, this is not like her at all. You can't feel anything obvious. Although these things you can't always feel easily. If it's a chicken bone stuck in Jessie's esophagus, she can be in real trouble. So we're going to put the endoscope down. I look down her esophagus. Come on, little girl, please. At Bondi's referral hospital, Sash, eight-year-old Kelpie Jessie is in bad shape. She has chicken carcasses for dinner, and she ended up kind of staggering around, short of breath. I'm thinking, oh, what's the matter? And then she brought it up, and I thought, she's fine. She said, <laughs> I thought, oh, no. Just backtracking to last night when she had dinner, did she swallow normally? Did she, was she able to eat her dinner? Yeah, she ate the whole dinner. Yeah. They have, um, she has three chicken carcasses and she ate the three of them. Let's take a look at her. No, this is not like her at all. Vet Lisa Chimes is handling the emergency. You can't feel anything obvious. Although these things you can't always feel easily. She's really salivating a lot and um, pouring out her mouth and that could be either because she's nauseous or because she's actually got something stuck in the esophagus. Good girl, Jessie. X-rays are needed immediately to confirm Lisa's fears. If it's a chicken bone stuck in Jessie's esophagus, she can be in real trouble because it can perforate the lining of the esophagus, it can bleed and she'll be in serious pain and we really need to act quickly. We're gonna hopefully have some answers for you, okay? And we'll take good care of her. This must be really hard for Margaret's because she just has to wait until we've got the results. No, you're not going home now, darling. With a blockage in her throat, eight-year-old Jessie is struggling to breathe. The Kelpie's so distressed, she's attempting a breakout. Jess, we're going to make you feel much better. You're not feeling so good right now, are you? Good girl, Jess. X-rays show a suspicious cloudy area near her esophagus. It seems almost certain Jessie's meal of chicken carcasses is now threatening her life. So we're going to put the endoscope down. I look down her esophagus. It's very important that we go nice and slowly and make sure we don't miss anything along the way. Vet Darren Foster must perform an urgent endoscopy using a flexible camera to hunt down the obstruction. Oh, oh something there. Yeah. There. there you go. It's like a little bit of bony material. Long forceps are now used to try and remove the painful obstruction. Now, it looks a bit brutal, but we are being gentle. And you can see the forceps just going in. And we'll just grab this fatty little bit at the end. Okay, let's see if we can pull it out now. A small, tiny bit of chicken fat. Hmm. Looks like we might be doing this piece by piece. Excellent. <laughs> It'll be a long <laughs> process. This must be really uncomfortable for her. I mean, no wonder the poor dog was salivating and groaning. She must have been in a lot of pain. Nice, big, meaty piece of chicken neck. At Sash, Lisa and Darren are finally making progress with Jessie's endoscopy. Now what we'll have to make sure is that that's all there is down there. Oh. Yeah, wow! <laughs> oh. yeah, that is disgusting. <laughs> um, oh, it's How long, disgusting. <laughs> How long has it been down there? A day now. Oh. A day, so lovely. So, lucky we got it out right. tonight. <laughs> Surely there can't be any more down there now. This is the bit that's causing all the trouble, I think. Yeah. After painstakingly removing large pieces of chicken meat and fat from eight-year-old Jessie, vet Darren Foster finally discovers the real culprit. Oh, that's the bit that's... that's causing all the trouble. See how sharp that is at the end? Ah. That may have caused a bit of damage to her esophagus, particularly because it's been there for a day, so we better go and have a look down her esophagus and make sure there's not too much damage. And... You can see now it's removed. There's some puncture holes in her esophagus there. So that'll be incredibly painful for her. If we hadn't got that out, eventually what would happen is that the bone in the esophagus would perforate 
So it would go all the way through the lining of the esophagus and she would end up with a chest infection with bacteria and that would be pretty much fatal. The next four days will be critical for Jessie. If the bone has permanently damaged her esophagus, she'll never eat properly again. So we've started her on some strong pain relief and antacid medication and hopefully it will heal quite quickly. But that has got to hurt. That, that is just so sharp. Jessie, I have a Hello. visitor. Hello, beautiful. Who's that? It's just 24 hours since Jessie was rushed into sash to remove a chicken carcass stuck in her esophagus. Oh, yeah, really that is disgusting. <laughs> Jessie's a very lucky dog. It's great that we got it out early enough and, and the damage is only minimal and hopefully she'll go on to lead a normal life. Now, this is the old Jessie. <laughs> Come here. I don't think Margaret's going to be feeding Jessie chicken carcasses for a while. I'm sure she's quite traumatised by this whole experience. I couldn't even sleep till about two o'clock last night. But this is her normal self. You want to go for a walk? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. OK. This is normal. Well. <laughs> You're in a hurry. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. <laughs>